Hello guys, Dinadu here, and today I'll be showing a vlog of two trips to Sutterbond this year. The first one being the Quillig Intermediate School's choir trip, which was on May the 18th, and then the 8th grade trip, which was on May the 20th. This video was recorded with a GoPro 7 at 1080p, up to 120 frames per second, which means it can go 5 times lower while having a good frame rate of 24 frames per second. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, I had lots of fun hanging out with my friends and going on a ride with them in those two days, especially the pink long one, I was trying not to freaking piss myself. But yeah, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification button, and leave a comment down below. I'll be doing more quality videos and live streams. And bye. See you later. So when we got to Suterbahn, we had to get our tickets, which were wristbands, checked. Then what we did is we head out to the area where we put all our stuff in, then we leave. So the thing was that you had to go in groups of two or more. The reason being is so that if something happens and there's another person with you, you're not just solo or alone in the park. But the problem was I had to get my GoPro ready and then I had to put sunscreen and all that stuff. And by then there were basically two groups. There was basically had, both had two people. There was two eighth graders and one and then another one was two seventh graders. So basically I just waited for a while and then eventually I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna go solo. <laughs> So you see the problem is everyone's freaking oh. Okay, so what I meant to say was that the big slides, like the pink one for example, gets taken out quickly, which means there's a big line, which means it can take a dozen minutes or a dozen minutes more to get on the ride. So what kind of pissed me off was that if my group having just, you know, first thing went on the rides first instead of hopping on the lazy river, then we kind of just went on quickly and, you know, joined a ride and then hop on the lazy river or another ride. But instead, like many other groups, they just hopped on on the lazy river and since I was alone, I just waited a bit. You know, following the rules and then just left to go to the lazy river and those two slides I'm showing you right now. Oh, yeah. 
Man, that was such a fun ride. It was so fast for a slot. I swear, like, I don't know if it was just me or something, but you know, if you're going, if you have to literally force yourself to go down the slide, then you know, I don't think something is probably right. But again, uh, I read the sign that said not to do it with a shirt. So I took it off and then went to the next ride, which was the one above the one I just went to. And guess what happens? Finally, after like a few minutes, I finally got a ride where I didn't have to push myself down but let water and gravity do the work for me and enjoy a ride with my GoPro attached to my arm. But anyway, I go back to the Lazy River and like I said, I meet up with a few friends. So finally I found one of the groups which now had another guy from BAM. Basically they were going around the lazy river when I was gone but anyway we went on the pink slide, we just waited for like 10-15 minutes talking to a group of people and then we had to split into two as only two people could go on at a time. But anyway I got on the ride with my friend and I gotta say it was a pretty good ride. So the next ride we went to was this river where in some areas you would go fast and there would be rocks everywhere so you would be moving, it would be kind of rocky and I went with Ty and Jaden was there and there were some other people we went with but anyway it was a good pretty fun ride boy, boy. Uh, 